Have you heard the latest news about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, formerly known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? Their decision to embark on an international journey to Nigeria after graciously accepting an official invitation extended by the nation's defense headquarters has created a wave of excitement and speculation across the global media scene. This forthcoming voyage has sparked unprecedented interest among international news outlets, igniting an array of discussions that range from their itinerary to the potential implications of their visit. News journals and tabloids across the globe, from the pulsating heart of London to the dynamic and bustling streets of Lagos, are reporting this development with an intensity seldom witnessed before. In-depth analyses, detailed coverage, expert opinions, and vivacious debates characterize the meticulous attention to this royal trip. The digital world is no different. Social media platforms from Twitter to Instagram and Facebook are flooded with posts, tweets, and comments about the couple's impending journey. People from all walks of life are passionately engaging in discussions and sharing their views on the royal visit. The couple's popularity, coupled with their significant global influence, has led to this widespread media coverage and fervor. Given their well-known status and the global reach of their influence, it's hardly surprising the media focus is so intense. The coverage is expansive, permeating every corner of the world and capturing everyone's attention. The anticipation and buzz that surround this royal visit is indeed a testament to Harry and Meghan's global influence and widespread appeal. Harry and Meghan's choice of Nigeria as their next destination isn't random. Situated in the western region of the African continent, Nigeria is renowned for its multicultural milieu, a diverse tapestry of languages, tribes and traditions. It is a prominent player in the West African region, characterized by its bustling cities, intriguing history and rich array of art forms. This is a nation that pulsates with a unique vibrancy and vitality, making it the perfect destination choice for the progressive couple known for their advocacy of cultural understanding and inclusion. Nigeria's reputation as a leader in the African continent been steadily rising, reflecting its increasing significance on the international stage. However, the impending visit by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex is laden with intricate political undertones. Had they not been driven out of their royal duties by relentless vilification from parts of the British media, this visit might have been viewed as the British monarchy's acknowledgement of Nigeria's growing influence globally. This journey could have harbored the potential to strengthen diplomatic ties among Commonwealth nations, an influential global network of former British colonies and territories, which share a common legal framework. Their upcoming visit could have represented the royal family's recognition of Nigeria's international stature, if they hadn't been pushed out of their royal roles by constant hate from the royal family through the British media. This visit would have held the potential to solidify diplomatic relations between Commonwealth nations and the UK, had they still been part of the royal family. Their recent visit to Canada provides a fascinating insight into how they embrace and integrate with different cultures. This journey was not just a casual trip, but a profound expedition into the depths of cultural understanding and acceptance. They were greeted with open arms by the four host First Nations, who warmly illustrated vibrant traditions and rich heritage. The visit was a captivating symphony of cross-cultural engagement, a testament to the reverence they hold for indigenous customs. It was an interaction steeped in respect, a gentle nod to the ancient practices and time-honored traditions of the First Nations. They observed centuries-old rituals and imbibed the wisdom of a culture that has stood the test of time, demonstrating their deep respect and understanding for indigenous traditions. Connection was not a fleeting moment, but a deep-rooted linkage that has been forged with care and empathy. The ties that they have developed do not merely exist on a surface level. They delve into the very fabric of personal and communal ties and serve as a bridge between different ways of life. This connection isn't a mere formality, but an opportunity to build personal relationships, strengthen ties, and express gratitude for the service provided by these individuals. This journey has not only allowed them to step into another culture's shoes, 
but also enabled them to embrace the beauty and diversity that make up the human experience. Nigeria, often termed as the giant of Africa, is a cultural melting pot, brimming with an array of traditions that set it apart. And if their recent Canada visit is something to go by, for Harry and Meghan, this visit provides a unique opportunity. It's not just another state visit or diplomatic meet. It's a chance to delve deep into the heart of Nigeria, to experience its vibrant lifestyle and diverse traditions firsthand. This decision is a direct response to the British monarchy's treatment of Meghan Markle. The choice by the couple to accept this invitation has been heard around the globe, causing waves and sparking discussions about the monarchy's role and the power of personal autonomy. Their acceptance isn't merely a political maneuver, but a symbol of resistance, tenacity, and an endorsement of their unyielding bravery. It signifies their resolve to keep being revolutionary figures inciting worldwide change. In their bold decision, they challenged the existing order, bravely venturing beyond the conventional restrictions that once tied them down and onto the international platform with an unshakable determination. The trip will also underscore Prince Harry's dedication to fortifying Nigeria's, and in general, Africa's position in the Invictus Games, an international competition he devised for wounded, injured and sick armed services personnel and veterans. The visit also presents a golden opportunity to explore the prospect of Nigeria playing host to this inspiring event that salutes determination and the victory of human resilience over adversity. It is also important to note that, despite Prince Harry being divested of his royal titles by the British monarchy, the Nigerian media persists in addressing him as His Royal Highness. This choice is a clear signal of Harry and Meghan's evolving global reputation. In a world where titles often define individuals, it is indeed interesting to observe that despite being divested of royal titles, Prince Harry's royal stature remains intact, particularly in the eyes of the Nigerian populace. Their ongoing reference to his royal title is a loud and clear acknowledgement of his and Meghan's continuous sway over global matters. It is also a testament to the enormous respect they command, not just as ex-royals, but as influential figures who have bravely chosen to forge their own path. As expected, responses to this news are diverse. Some individuals are overjoyed, their hearts brimming with happiness and their eyes sparkling with anticipation. In contrast, others denounce, their voices resonating with dissatisfaction and disapproval. There are also those who are merely curious, their interest sparked by the surprising turn of events. The baseline is, Harry and Meghan's decision serves as a stimulant, stirring up global conversations, debates and discussions that transcend the confines of meeting rooms and spill over to dining tables, crossing the barriers of socio-economic status, culture and geography. It's a testament to the global influence of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle beyond the British royal family. They are true influencers, people whose actions can provoke a fundamental change, challenge conventional norms and rewrite societal rules. Wouldn't you agree?